are we back to the tradition when Russian culture was on the French Riviera number one? I think it's uh, uh, last 200 years. But I think for, uh, for us it was very important because we took part in the MIPCOM, uh, I think, about 20 years. The first time when we present the, uh, the Russian television. The day after will be a Russian party with opera singer, with one of the best uh, piano player. The, it will be very interesting. My name is Oliver Peck. Tell me, when is your first tattoo? My first tattoo? Uh, when I was 16 years old. You have tattoos all over your body? Uh, from here to my ankles. Uh, it's just about a tattoo competition, uh, putting different tattoo artists in different challenges to see who's going to come out on top. It's a candle with my mother's name in it. My name is Margaret Cho. I do stand-up comedy, and I'm also on a show called Drop Dead Diva, and I am a musician, and I have a show called Show Dependent that's um, out in... Yeah, I, I work with all these different artists. I work with um, Ed Hardy and uh, um, Craig Jackman and, and Kat Von D and um, Mike Davis and um, lots of wonderful people. I'm looking to try to meet Oliver Peck, who I know is here tonight, because I would like for him to tattoo me. So I'm not on drugs, but I would like some. Hi, Tendence TV. Does happy childhood and good education makes the difference? No, because uh, you have very well educated people who end up as murderers. So, um, no, but when I, t I, when I ask people on death row, how should, we live, how should we live our lives on the other side of the bulletproof glass? It's always coming down to small family values. Watch out for your children protect them let, them, let them know that they still belong to us even though they have made massive mistakes. I think it's a cohesion of, of families and, and that's not just a mother so it, it means uh, values that we normally overlook or things all of a sudden uh, that we can open a door and close it behind us. What a magnificent privilege that is. You never, you never see it unless you see somebody who is going to die in eight days. Several years passed and my husband came out of the closet, so <laughs> a new, uh, a new uh, you know, series begins. I think that it takes as much work to be happily divorced as it does to be happily married. And uh, there was something about the two people that fell in love that they thought they were supposed to be married, but maybe marriage wasn't what they were supposed to be. And I think that it takes a little, it takes a little work, but it's worth it to figure it out because uh, it would be a waste of 
uh, an investment of time and love and feelings and I think that it's important to try and figure out where the love goes. The nanny was very successful worldwide and continues to be so I'm hoping that all the countries that uh, did well with the nanny are going to embrace happily divorce. Mafia likes me. <laughs> you drop a Italian American gangster into the middle of Lilyhammer. It's a big fish <laughs> in a big pond, <laughs> and uh, it's been so much fun, you know, working with these great Norwegian actors. I got to tell you, you know, they're just terrific. So let's wait. We'll be scared by you. <laughs> I hope so, a little bit. <laughs> After such blockbusters as Robocop, Basic Instinct, how did it come to you uh, as such a concept came to your mind? It was not something I invented, in fact, so it's a really an adventure, I think. It's something I've never done and it's for me it was a good possibility to innovate myself. It's entertainment experience. We are at the moment receiving every day 20-30 scripts that tells us how to continue the story that we have, the short story that we put on the internet and is now picked up by the, by the public and they are writing the sequel. Dominique McElligot. Hell on Wheels was a makeshift town that moved with the building of the Transcontinental Railroad in the US. Uh, yeah, it's a revenge story. It begins that way. It's certainly Colin Bohannon. I would love to know who is the good guy and who is the bad guy. <laughs> no, there's no good guy and there's no bad guy. There's a, there's, a, there's a mix of everything in each character, I hope. We had a great cast, um, really. It was a lot of fun working together. We spent four months up in Calgary working and I say we had a blast. Is it very different to be a hip hop singer, dancer, and an actor? Like hip hop and, and rap is a different expression than acting is. And just because you're a rapper doesn't mean you can act. So I, I study, you know, and I and I and I take acting very serious. So I just approach my career as an actor. See, that's what's great about this this story and about this show is. It's no all good guy, all bad guy. Everybody in the world, everybody in this show has good and bad in them. It's just what you choose to do and what you choose to give most. It's calm sense, y'all. You know how I stand. I came to rock it for my people right here in Cannes. She asked me, do I do hip-hop rapping and a dance? I do hip-hop right here for my people in France. I can take a chance, so I got to advance. Look into the camera, I just give you a glance of a different type of style. This is what I tell. You should know we coming down so y'all can tell. The type of style that happened, yo, this is for real. November 6th is coming. Hell on wheels.
My name is Cliff Curtis. We're working on a show called Missing. Uh, I'm playing Dax Miller. I'm a CIA agent. Do you know the movie A Whale Ride, or they call it Pike here, here in France? Well, the piano. From cinema to series, different experience, good experience? Uh, definitely different. Obviously some things are the same, but there are also quite a few notable differences. I found, it, I found it very difficult, to be frank. It was really hard. The show is about Becca Winstone, who is a very devoted mother with a college-age son who goes to Rome to study architecture, and to her great dismay, turns up missing. When I go to Rome to try to find him, figure out what's happened, it's revealed that I actually am a former CIA agent and his disappearance is related to my past. So I reluctantly tap back into that part of my life in order to try to find my son. Did you say murder? Murder, murder stories. When the creators of the show were talking to me about missing, the premise was so simple yet compelling. A mother's son is missing. I very reluctantly have to tap back into my former life as a CIA agent, and I use those skills, um, which aren't necessarily something that I'm proud of, to track down the thing that is the most important to me in the whole world, which is my child. And all of that happens in a series of very beautiful European locations, and it was a pleasure and a joy to make, while also in its own way very difficult. So it's nice to be finished. We just finished 24 hours ago. Adriano Giannini. Is there a life after Madonna? Is there, yeah, of course. <laughs> There's always life. Being Madonna's partner must have been something in your life. Did it really change your life as an actor? Well, it's it's a long and strange story. But sorry, because I was before that movie. I was I, I just did one movie, and what they the that movie was not released yet, and then was that movie with Madonna was my second movie. Well, I'm playing a, um, an Interpol agent who has this kind of affair with, I mean, it's an old story with, with, with Ashley Judd and then something. Bit of a playboy? No, 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 and an, an agent. They always want to be, you know, Italians, they always want to be. But no, it's not, it's not. Tendance TV. Hi, ciao, ciao, Tendance TV. Продолжение следует... 